Today we are reviewing a wide angel lens for smartphones called Sirui, which is a perfect for vlogging, blogging or simply capturing beautiful shots. Hello friends, this is Alex Jasny. You might ask, why do we need an additional lens when modern smartphones already have multiple cameras? Typically they come with a standard camera, an ultra-wide angel lens and even a zoom lens. However, manufacturers often cut corners on all cameras except the main one. For instance, the ultra-wide lens may lack autofocus and its lens and sensor usually don't have the best specs. Yet the field of view of the ultra-wide lens is ideal for vlogging, where we hold the phone at arm's length and need to fit entirely into the frame. Meanwhile, manufacturers equip the main camera with a good sensor, excellent dynamic range, less noise, good autofocus and a fast lens. However, fitting yourself into the frame becomes challenging, and this is where an additional lens comes in handy. It attaches to the standard camera and transforms it into an ultra-wide angel lens while maintaining decent quality. Now let's take a closer look at these accessories, discussing its pros and cons. The lens comes in a branded case, which includes a cleaning cloth, instruction and the lens itself with protective caps. By the way, I use this case to store various accessories like mounts and camera's adapters. The accessory consists of two parts a clip that attaches to the phone and the lens itself. The main advantage of the clip attachment is its universality. You can use it with any phone. So even if you upgrade your phone model, you won't need to replace the lens. This is a significant advantage compared to moment lenses, which require a case with the specific lens mount. Now to attach the lens correctly, you can use two methods. Align the clip directly over the phone's lens and then attach the lens. Or attach the clip with the lens directly. But this method carries the risk of misalignment, resulting in blurring and vignetting at the corners of the frame. Now let's discuss the main advantages of this accessory. First, it offers a wide 18mm angel, allowing you to capture yourself at arm's length and ensure you fit entirely into the frame. Due to the closer proximity to the phone's microphone, it records higher quality audio. Remember, sound contributes to 17% of video quality. You can shoot from a closer distance and show objects in more detail, which the standard camera cannot achieve. The accessory is inexpensive and can last a long time due to its universal mount. You can use it with Android phones, iPhones and even tablets if necessary. You can attach the lens to the selfie camera and even to the webcam of your laptop, providing a wider field of view. In general, the lens is perfect for those who record themselves on camera. Additionally, it pairs well with a useful accessory like a selfie mirror, allowing you to see everything happening on the phone screen, frame your shot correctly and control the shooting process. Friends, in a world where there are a dozen of equipment manufacturers and hundreds of different models, it's easy to get confused and lost. Lamps, microphones, softboxes, tripods, adapters. How to understand what is right for you and where it is profitable to buy it. I have developed a guide for choosing equipment for video filming, which presents different sets of equipment for different tasks and budgets, and also attached links to purchase on Amazon and AliExpress sites. Link to guide will be in the description. Another useful tip if you want to further increase the field of view, you can disable stabilization on your phone. Of course, in this case it's best to use a tripod or electronic gimbal. On Android go to the camera settings, find the stabilization option and disable it. On the iPhone you will need to use a third-party application like Blackmagic camera. Now let's talk about the drawbacks. The first one is that the image becomes slightly soft and blurry at the corners, which is not crucial if you are shooting yourself and staying centered in the frame because the center of the image remains sharp. Second, the clip partially abstracts the screen, making some shooting settings inaccessible. For example, on the iPhone with the Blackmagic camera application, you want to be able to switch exposure and frame rate settings. Additionally, the lens abstracts other cameras, making it impossible to use them. 
On the iPhone, the LiDAR scanner is also abstracted, affecting focus in low light. Another downside is that you can't use cases that protrude significantly over the camera. The clip attaches at slight angle, resulting in poor image quality, so it's best to shoot without a case. Now let's compare the image quality between the ultra-wide angle camera and the standard camera with the Serui lens to determine which option produces better results. You can see the comparison now and decide for yourself if you need this additional accessory. Friends, share your thoughts on this link in the comments, watch other videos on my channel about smartphone videography, be bold, create and see you soon.